Welcome back to the shop. Today's project is making a power key for my 5C chuck. I'm using a bar of 1144 steel. It also goes by the name Stressproof. Uh, the main reason I'm using it is because I happen to have some lying around. I believe the name Stressproof itself was a trademark of Niagara Steel. I'm using new units of measure. Uh, this is eyeball and marker units of measure. <laughs> As you can see, the uh, part does not need to have uh, precise depth and so on. So I'm just kind of fiddling around until I can figure out exactly how deeply I'll need to drill the hole and so on. I've moved the carriage into position and I'm zeroing out the DRO. Next I'm using the micrometer uh, carriage stop. This has actually turned out to be a lot more useful than I imagined when I first bought it. Very helpful. It takes, you know, a little bit extra time to uh, set it up and tighten it, but then you can just keep going without having to wash the DRO all the time. And now I'm just using the power feed. The 1144 really machines very well. Uh, it contains anywhere from 0.25 to 0.33 percent sulfur, so that really helps it chip uh, and turn very readily. It also contains a little bit of phosphorus. Uh, you wouldn't want to be welding it, but uh, for machining, it's very useful, and really, uh, it's pretty high tensile strength as well. It also has uh, good wear resistance, and I think going forwards, I'm going to try to stock up more 1144 on projects that don't require welding. Um, not that much more expensive than junk mystery steel, you know, especially at a hobbyist level. Next we're going to go ahead and drill it out with a 17 64th inch drill that's 6.75 millimeters. And again you can see the chips coming out very easily, very readily. And then a quick bit of chamfering. And parting. The most fun part. I'm just using a 1 8 inch high speed steel bleed. And now over to the mill to make the square sights for the key to go into the chuck itself. I put it in a half inch 5C collet and the collet is in a square collet holder. Uh, a couple of still photos. The camera was a bit too shaky. Uh, anyway, uh, it ends up making a very nice uh, set of square sides. You just flip the thing over and off you go. Um, good enough for a collet key, for sure. And here it is being tested in the collet that made it. And here is a picture of the key by itself. The key is half an inch OD, so here I'm drilling out a half inch ID hole. Next I will use a half inch end mill uh, to square off the bottom of the hole. Now the hex bit that I'm using as an adapter uh, measures 0 0.281 inches across uh, the uh, high point. So I'm going to use a drill that's just slightly smaller. Uh, try to get a press fit in there. And you can see that wobble and then I realized that I should have actually drilled prior to flattening out the bottom of the larger hole. 
the depth of the larger hole is about three quarters of an inch and if I had done the steps in the other order it would not have had that wobble. Here's the holder that is drilled out half an inch on this end. This will go in there, snug, and then this part will go in from the top down to about, about here. So I'm going to cut um, part the tool off right there, part the tool off about, about here. The exact length of the tool holder doesn't matter. Uh, its reason for existence is for aligning the hex bit. Unfortunately, the video of me using this um, to do the alignment didn't make it. It has a half inch hole into which the hex key will fit. Uh, the hole then continues on as a much narrower hole, uh, which is the right diameter to fit the shaft of the hex key. Once I put uh, the parts in, then I put the whole assembly into a one-ton uh, press and tried to press everything together. Well, my cheap one-ton press only managed to get it started and then I put it on the vise, uh, in the vise and then hammered down on the top here and I was able to get it in far enough that I think this is very strong, uh, strong bond, a, a tough uh, fit. Um, it is uh, definitely strong enough to hold up to what uh, I have intend. Uh, I have my intentions for. And it looks great. Works nicely on my sweet shot chuck. And now, what about the five C chuck? Wap wap. It is the wrong size by one millimeter. The 5C chuck needs a nine millimeter key and the three jaw collar chuck needs a 10 millimeter key. Anyway, back to the mill, back to the 5C collar to the square block. A little bit of quick turning, shaving off, you know, half a millimeter on either side. Again, not a very critical operation because uh, it's gotta be just small enough to fit in, in the 5C uh, collet uh, keyhole. Sneaking up to that side very slowly and then uh, doing a pass. And might as well double check. And then let's see what it actually does. Yes, it works. Okay. And now for the real moment of truth. This is the cheapest screwdriver I could find at Target. I believe it was under 20 bucks. It takes a couple of three AA cells. And for my purposes, it's perfect. And the best thing of all, it goes in and out with a satisfying chunk. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please be sure to subscribe.